I want to celebrate something is coming upon you in this service tonight. He gave them the power. He gave them the power. This month of September, I hand over to you by apostolic decree the power for signs and for wonders. He gave them power. That demon that's troubling your house. That demon that's troubling your flesh. That demon that's troubling your finances. That scattering demon. That dispersing demon. That canker worm, that caterpillar. That locust, that palmer worm. That is dispersing your effort and your labor. Frustrating your prayers. Every demon that's playing football in your backyard. Playing games upon your bed when you're sleeping. Troubling your children and harassing your grandchildren. I decree power is released upon your life. Power is released upon your heart. Power is released upon your hands. Power to uh, cast out unclean devils. I went to see my father in the faith a few weeks ago and he said to me, he wasn't there. He had flown somewhere and was on his way back. So he said, wait in my office till I arrive. Then he said, he said, tell my PA to open up my conference room and make yourself comfortable there. Very tired. <laughs> That's human power. So I walked up to his PA without any apology to nobody. Hey, hey, I miss, I, hey. Daddy said, open up his conference room. It's a private room. And I should make myself comfortable there until he arrives. Yes, sir. Because the only way he could have said no is to question if daddy said so. And if he questions it, he will find daddy will tell him. The next devil you talk to, if they debate or dispute with you, your God and your father will let them know he's the one that gave you the power. Somebody shall power. Praise God. Everybody in that place on that day were wondering how everybody else was lining up and waiting outside. And I had preferential treatment to be left in a comfortable room. And that preferential treatment is because I am a sinner. <laughs> nothing to do with a degree. Nothing to do with what I was wearing. You are a child of the Most High. You insult the covenant by thinking your legitimacy to wonders is your passport. It's not the length of your prayers or how many Bible passages you can quote. It's where you stand. That you are outside of the covenant, a stranger to the covenants of Israel. You are without hope. Hopelessly lost in sin. And he came and he chose you. He saw in you what you did not see in yourself. I'm going to talk to somebody here. He qualified you when you are unqualified. So it's not now that he qualified you that you will qualify yourself. No. We are beneficiaries of the blood. And where we sit, if it wasn't for the blood, there's no remission of sin. He loved us with an eternal love when we did not love him. And he chose us when we did not choose him. And he called us when we did not call him. And he gave us a name that heaven will reveal. And there is no devil that is made in the image of God. He came looking for you when we're not looking for him. Are you helping? Are you being helped this afternoon? And he now said without any fear of contradiction. And why I, did I do this? So that you can be an example and you can be the hands of Paul on the face of the planet. That by you, I, God, will do signs and wonders that all of the glory may be mine. Are you with me so far? Clap your hands for signs and wonders coming to you.
It's a night of wonders. 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 It's a night of signs. It's a night of power. This shall be the beginning of your story in glory. I'm too sure. I'm too sure. I am too sure. I am too certain. I am convinced beyond question. That I will not misrepresent God by standing up on this platform and making it sound like there is a special call on the life of pastor for science. I want the devil to know that we all belong to the same family. Most of the dead people that have been raised in this commission were not raised by pastors. Pray in the Holy Ghost for a few seconds, violently. Violently. I want to just pray for a few seconds. I want you to go to the place of the spirit and move yourself from where your seat is now to the spiritual realm and sit in heavenly places and pray in the Holy Ghost. Let your spirit communicate with the spirit of all spirits, which is God. And begin to make utterances, begin to make bold utterances, begin to make declarations in your heavenly tongue, begin to speak speak by the spirit of God and begin to call what your mind cannot call begin to pronounce what your head cannot pronounce begin to say things that your intellect will never say this month of September is a month of wonders it's a month of signs it's a month of power it's the beginning this is the beginning this is the beginning this is the beginning of the acts of God in my life can your tongue speak to the heavens let angels move on your utterances tonight and begin to move your from mediocrity in the things of the spirit. Move yourself to the dimension where Paul sat. Move yourself to the dimension where the 12 disciples sat and begin to receive power in your spirit. Begin to receive power in your spirit. Begin to receive power in your spirit. Yeah. Pray for a few more seconds. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I release upon your life the weight of his glory. I release upon your life the multifaceted dimensions of God's power. I release upon you dominion over the laws of physics. Dominion over the laws of chemistry. I release upon you authority over the laws of medicine. The laws of pharmacology. I release upon you the laws that override the laws of gravity. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus. The last time you are subject to natural laws is the last time you will be subject to natural laws. Whenever a need arises, if the gates of prison need to be shaken upon, they will be shaken upon without the hands of men. You will open doors with no keys. You will have money you did not work for. You will live in houses you did not build. Am I helping anybody here? You will live long and not die. You will live in health and not in sickness. You will live in strength and not in weakness. You will live in victory and not in defeat. You will live in godliness, not ungodliness. You will make progress. You will have peace. You will have joy. Your life will be an exception. I decree in the name of Jesus a release of power upon your life, upon your marriage, upon your family, upon your degrees. I release the power of God for signs and for wonders. I command the doors to open unto you. I promote you dimensionally to another level. I promote you dimensionally to another level. I promote you dimensionally to another level. What did not obey you will obey you now. 
after the grace tonight, you step out of that door on another level. Your seniority has changed position. In the name of Jesus, I release the weight of his glory upon your life. The shadow and the cloud of his glory will travel with you. I command England to listen. I command Europe to obey. I command the globe to listen. In the name, clap your hands. I give him a shout if you're with me. Give him a scream in the house. If you'll sit down for a moment. In my few years, I have seen extraordinary things. I have seen machines obey the spirit realm. Thank you, Jesus. You understand what I'm saying? Machines. I have seen computers. <laughs> I have seen files transferred from one computer to another with no explanation. I have seen flash drives return to me from, Mexico, from, from Brazil and put in my bag. I have seen tumors disappear. The dead raised. I have seen angelic visitations. I've had conversations and dialogues in the spirit realm. I have been caught up into third heavens. And I have conversations with angels and I have had confrontations with devils. And I know that the realm of the spirit is real. And I know that the rules of the spirit cannot be changed. That Jesus is Lord and Master. And at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. And every tongue will confess that he is Lord to the glory of the Father. And I know the Father will not share his glory with anybody. And anything that will not give glory to Jesus will bow to that name. Can I get a witness in the house and shout yes? Please, just for me to close down somehow, walk up to at least one person and introduce yourself to them, not by where you are sitting here, but by where you sit in reality, and give them a handshake and say, you are shaking a sign and a wonder, an amazement to the generation who lives above the rules of this canal kind of realm. Say to them, you are greeting somebody from a third dimension. A spiritual dimension. A higher dimension. Say, I rule and I reign in life. I am unstoppable to the forces of darkness. Demons, listen to me. Say to somebody, if I lay hands on sickness, they will recover. If I command the dead, they will rise. How many of you are miracle workers in this place? Give them a scream one more time. And before the end of this month of September, you will have proof to show it. If I be a prophet, and if I be an authentic son of my father, before the end of September 2015, you will have proof to show for it. You will have proof to show for it. You will have proof to show for it. You will have proof. You will have proof. You will have proof. You understand what I'm saying? You will have proof. Proof that the devil cannot cover up. They bribe people to lie that his grave, somebody came to steal his body. But we all know that he rose on the third day. It doesn't care what lie the devil will concoct. The proof you will have will be undeniable. You will have proof in your body. You will have proof in your mind. You will have proof in your family. You will have proof in your finances. Who am I talking to? You will have proof in your ministry. You will have proof in your career. You will have proof in your peace. You will have peace in your proof in your joy. You will have proof in your progress. Shout amen if you are with me. Shout amen if you are with me. Shout amen if you are with me. You will have proof in your prophecy. You will have proof in your things that God has said about you. Everything that has been delayed, I release it. Everything that has been delayed, I unlock it. Every door that has been shut, I open it. I come from the realm of the spirit. I come from the dimensions of a higher dimension. And I command it to obey the voice of the Lord. I command it to open up right now. I release upon you the realm of power. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Ah, enough is enough. 
enough of living by natural laws, enough of living by carnal dimensions. Whatever they measure, God will do more. Whatever they wait, God will wait more. Whatever they said you will go, you will go beyond. Can I get the loudest amen in the house? Thank you, Jesus. Please be seated for a moment. Enough. Enough. I terminate every negative dream. I come against every cyclical problem. They showed you proof as to why your life is going down a certain road. But I come as a prophet of the impossible to tell you that God can override their proof. I have proof that is above any kind of proof. I have evidence and the evidence is in the word of God that with man it's impossible but with God all things are possible. If God can find the hand of Paul, it will be possible. If God can hide the, find the hand of Peter, it will be possible. I know God is raising a Moses in this place. I know a Gideon is arising in this place. Where are the Elijahs of God? Where are the Elishas of God? Where are the Daniels of this generation that will say no to the devil? We are not looking for a lucky break. No. That's nonsense. Did you hear me? No lucky breaks. We are getting covenant breaks. Yeah. Not waiting for luck. No time for that. We are not getting any younger. Is it all right? We are not getting any younger. If you don't know, wake up. We are not getting any younger. We are not getting any younger. We, are not get, we will give a good report for our generation. Yeah. How is it possible that you will meet with Peter in heaven? And Peter will be telling you that the covenant gets brighter. He said the path of the just is like a shining light. It gets brighter and brighter until the perfect day. That how could I have done this and you did less than what I did when you were supposed to do multiples of what I did? What will you say to Peter? What will you say to Esther? Or Deborah, what will you say to Naomi, who buried everybody in her family but still believed? Ah. <laughs> Jesus, what will you say? What will you say to Sarah, who at 90 was still believing, when she had spent more time post-menopausal than when she was menopausal? What will you say? What will you say to a man that spoke to a rock and water came out of it? What will you say? That in the Old Testament they did such exploits and now the shadow has become a reality. Hear me as I close. And God did unusual miracles through the hands of Paul. Until you give him your hand. He cannot give you his words. Until you give him your hands, he can't give you his words. He needs to work through your hands. Until you lay hands on the sick, God can heal them. Until Moses, you speak to the rock, water won't come out. God was given to Moses. If anybody had spoke to the rock, nothing would happen. Because of the dimension Moses was living in. Until Joshua appoints priests to stand in the Jordan, it will never part. And until Elisha follows Elijah to a point where the mantle drops, the Jordan will not part to one man. What are the miracles that are waiting for you? And the wonders that are held back because you are not making your hands available. Take those hands as an instrument and a sign of commitment. <laughs> Clap them loudly. Say that thing. And keep on clapping. Just keep on clapping. I'm done. Just keep on clapping. Just keep on clapping. 
Just keep on clapping. Lord, my hands are available. I am a sign and a wonder. Not in heaven, but here on earth. I will be a sign and a wonder. And as you are clapping, shout hallelujah three times. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. I wish you could open, God can open your eyes to see what I see in the spirit realm. In Genesis, give me two seconds. Chapter 14, verse 19. You can tell my heart is indicting a matter. In Genesis chapter 14, verse 19, and God blessed him. So it's reference to Abraham. Who blessed him? I command the blessings of God that make rich and add no sorrow. If you are here and you've been believing God for a job for over six months, come and give me a high five now. Quickly, quickly, because I have to stop. Somebody should be clapping and giving God praise here. If you are here and they told you the job you really want to do, you can't get it in this environment. Come and give me a high five. Quickly. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. I hope you know I'm not a magician. And God provided jobs through the hands of his servant. Can I congratulate everybody with your hand clap? It's a done deal. The way you are clapping your hands, I, I should just go and pack my Bible. Thank you, Jesus. Hear me? And God. And who blessed him? To make this 15-minute sermon a two-minute thing. Clap your hands for five seconds. And as you are clapping, tell God, bless me. I mean, you heard what I said. Tell God, bless me. And not, not with just anything. Bless me with signs and wonders. Do wonderful things in my life this morning. Amen. To order this message and other products, visit our website at www.gloryhouse.org.uk 